All right, what's up guys? So haven't really made any videos on the Nova lately, mostly because I've just been driving it around all summer, haven't really done any work to it or anything like that. But uh, I got it up on uh, jack stands here now for the winter. Gonna do a few things to it. So I thought I'd just share with you a couple things I found out uh, since I was driving it and whatnot. Uh, the first thing would be the wheels. So uh, on the back of this, I had these torque thrust tubes that I got and they're 17 inch rims and from the best that I can tell from measuring like I don't have the tire off of it or anything and it's not stamped but I'm pretty sure it's a 17 by 9 inch rim uh, tire size is 255 45 17 and uh, the back spacing is more or less like four and a half inches something like that just from what I've been able to measure anyways uh, so like 99.9% .9 of the time they work great um, no rubbing or issues or anything like that however just on the driver's side here if I was to make like a kind of a hard left turn or uh, kind of had some speed when I was going around a left turn or something like that turning a corner at an intersection or or just down a neighborhood street or something I'd get a little bit of rubbing somewhere on this side and it would also it would do it more prevalently if I had a passenger in the car too for whatever reason uh, but most of the time it wouldn't rub or anything I just drive around and it'd be cool um, but if you notice down here like the the lip of the of my wheel well here is like kind of been trimmed in a little bit at some point in time and I was pretty sure it wasn't rubbing on there because I still had you know a little bit of clearance and I, I couldn't really see that it had been rubbing much here um, but if you look inside here you can see hopefully it's been actually rubbing up here on the quarter panel so that's right where it's been rubbing so it didn't didn't hit the inner lip it was hitting up here which is I mean it's not bad but so uh, now on the tire over here you can see this little kind of strip in it. This is where it was rubbing just barely. I mean, it wasn't really chewing up the tire bad or nothing like that. Um, but I think if I just had slightly more backspacing, this tire would, this rim would work fine. So I'll actually just show it. I'll throw it back up on there real quick and show you guys, you know, what it looks like. All right. So this is more or less where the wheel sits when it's bolted on the car. And there's, you know... I can stick a finger in there. I don't have any lug nuts on it, but that's it just sits kind of about like that. But it's never rubbed on this lip, so even though there's not much gap there, it never rubs right there. It rubs further up on the quarter panel. So if you look up underneath the car here, see there's actually all kinds of room up there between the tire and like the inner wheel well and the shock and all that stuff up in here. Uh, not a lot of room here on this to the exhaust but that can be worked on so I could probably go I mean there's a lot of room in there if I was to get a rim like I'm probably gonna get new rims uh, this year too I think but I could probably go like a whole nother inch maybe even two on the back spacing get the wheel to go you know move inboard more and you know that would give me extra clearance out there for the outer quarter panel and everything so it shouldn't rub anymore so those are kind of the dimensions of this rim and tire and everything and how it sits in there and the clearance and everything and like I said most of the time it's fine doesn't rub on anything but occasionally I make that left turn or if I have a passenger in the car with some more weight in it or whatever it, it rubs on the outside there on the quarter panel so just wanted to run that guy's bite run that by you guys if you're trying to figure out wheels and tires and stuff maybe you'll find this useful okay now thing number two that I'm gonna try to address over the winter is this stupid speedometer cable thing and I don't know if you guys can see it up there good but it's dripping from right there and it's now totally just blood bathing my drip pan and everything all the time um, but I have changed the little bullet thing that goes in there is brand new with a new o-ring and everything I changed the little gear that snaps into the bullet deal that was brand new also and this cable is also brand new 
everything in there is brand new. It still leaks. It's super frustrating. Um, this has some write stuff on it because I tried to fix that before I changed the bullet and everything. Thinking it would seal the cable, but uh, that didn't really do anything. So that still leaks, and I have no clue how to fix that because everything's already been changed. So I don't know if the O-ring is weird on the bullet or if the tail shaft housing mount or little hole there is like, I don't know, worn out somehow or something. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, probably call the transmission shop next week and just see what their input is on that because that's just super annoying. Anyways, on to the next thing. Okay, and lastly, I got to get rid of these drum brakes on this thing because they're just the most annoying thing ever. Uh, I mean, sure, they work. They stop the car. That was never really an issue driving around was whether or not I'd be able to stop or not. They seemed okay in that aspect. But they, like, always, like, kind of grind or squeak or make noises. And uh, in my case, this is the passenger side. This side, for whatever reason, will always grab harder than the driver's side. So, like, the car always kind of pulls to the left, or, like, this side would grab harder. So, when I come to a stop, this side would be, like, under more, like, rotational tension than the driver's side. So, when I let off the brake, you'd, like, you can feel, like, the pressure release. Like, it's kind of, like, binding up the suspension or something over here a little bit. It's just super annoying. And on top of that, there's this little arm down here, which I don't hope you guys can see it. It uh, goes right here. It, it's like a little bar that sits on the adjuster. So when your brakes wear, this little thing clicks and turns. But on mine, this little bar, it keep like flopping out of here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it would kind of like hang off the adjuster quite frequently. And this little adjuster here would... uh kind of just free spin and I had to come in and adjust these like three different times because of that and it's just getting really super old so uh, I don't know if your brakes do the same thing maybe check out that little bar in there and see if it's you know touching the adjuster little ratchet wheel thing uh, but I'm gonna just rip all this off and go disc brakes this winter I think so anyway it's just just a few things that I've kind of come across that I'm gonna work on and Maybe you're having a similar issue, I don't know, but you know, hit me up in the comments if you uh, need me to show you guys anything specific or anything like that you want to see if you got a Nova and you're working on it, just uh, let me know.